What's up, guys? I'm Steven. <laughs> and I'm Brett. And these are our fight predictions for UFC 226. It's going to be a stat card. And today we're going to start off talking Stipe versus DC, which I am super excited for. And so how do you have that fight going playing out? Well, first of all, this is probably going to be the, the maybe the best fight card of the year. Uh, I think so, for sure. I'm going, I'm going that DC is going to be the two-division champion. I think DC's got too much cardio. He's fought too many high-level guys, and uh, I don't. I don't think uh, Stipe's ready for him. See, you actually had Stipe in the last fight versus Ngannou gassing out, but I actually rewatched that fight, and I felt like he wasn't gassing out at all. I mean, he was throwing around the biggest guy he's ever fought, so I could see yeah. him being a little more tired than usual. But then again, DC has amazing wrestling, so I could see DC using. His wrestling to his advantage and taking down Stipe and yeah it's interesting but I also feel like Stipe has killer stand-up more stand-up than anyone that DC's ever fought besides John Jones maybe yeah you know I just look at it from the aspect of DC's fought Gustafsson he's fought uh, John Jones twice mm -hmm. you know um, he's that that uh, who's that big goofy white guy Vulcan or Volkan Uzdemir. Yeah. That, or, no, not Uzdemir. Um, the big bald, yeah, yeah, the big yeah. white bald guy. Um, you know, and I just, you know, I like Stipe. I have nothing against him, but I just think DC's too well-rounded with his wrestling, with his striking, even though he's undersized. you've I've never got the uh, um, the inkling that DC's tired, you know, in any mm -hmm. of his fights. And I just remember watching the the Stipe Nagano fight and I just felt like Stipe was tired after mm -hmm. the first round I felt like the last four rounds were just a struggle and they were both trying to survive and you don't see that with DC you know it's funny though because if Stipe was tired he kept pushing for that so yeah. that goes to show his will when it gets deep in fights and DC also has that same will where he'll fight through adversity so I'm super interested to see how this plays out. All these fights on this card, I think, is kind of a coin toss, and I'm really, really curious how DC is going to handle Stipe's power and yeah. coming. You know. Well, that's the good thing about MMA is you know everybody makes these crazy predictions, or you know they think that you're crazy if you pick one or the other. Mm -hmm. And literally, MMA is a coin flip. You know, someone lands that hard shot or. Uh, it, it all that's all it takes. Exactly, and it's hard to make a decision because I can think of a, a hundred re reasons why DC is going to win, and I can think of a hundred reasons why Stipe could win. And you know, you you'd like to say, well, well, DC's uh, shorter. Uh, he's got a, a shorter reach than Stipe, but he's had that against everybody. Mm -hmm. You know, DC's been the undersized guy in all of his fights. Maybe not, you know, so, like weight wise, but as far as reach and height. It's it's tough because DC's always overcame all the odds, and the only guy he's ever lost to is John Jones, who popped. You know, so it's it's very interesting. Um, I if I were a betting man, I'd put my money on on DC, but uh, Stipe is the killer, man. Stipe has he's won the most fights in you know heavyweight history, defending his title. Let, and, let me uh, ask you a question. So DC has been caught from Anthony Johnson, mm -hmm. knocked him down. You know. John Jones, who he got caught by someone else too, in the past. Anyways, do you think Stipe has more power than Anthony no. jo Johnson? You don't think so? I don't think he has more power than Anthony Johnson, but uh, you know, maybe with it being at heavyweight instead of light heavy, we just haven't seen it yet. You know, maybe mm -hmm. whenever he hits DC, the 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 difference in weight will show, but. That's the other th the curveball that's thrown in there is DC's fought at heavyweight before, you know. So DC's used to that. He's all he walks around at that weight. He trains at that weight. He just doesn't have to cut as much. Mm -hmm. So he's a big guy anyway. Um, now I'd say he's probably fighting more at his natural weight than when he cuts the light heavy. And do you think it's going to be at DC's disadvantage though, moving up in weight and having the wrestler a bigger guy? And if it gets him to those later rounds. You don't see him gassing out at all? Well, we haven't seen it yet. I mean, it's definitely possible. Because um, Stipe, you have to think that after the weigh-ins and Stipe has that time to put weight on, he's probably going to be quite a bit bigger. Mm -hmm. So we probably haven't seen DC fight a guy who's substantially longer and heavier than what he's fought. But, I mean, I, in my opinion, you know, DC is going to be able to take it away. 
I feel like he's a more well-rounded fighter. But we've seen Stipe, he shows up when his back's against the wall. And I would say he's probably the underdog in this fight, even though he's the heavyweight champion. Um, I would say Stipe's probably a, a, an underdog by most, you know, most people. Would, would that guess. that's what it goes to show too. I think he, he is actually the underdog, mm -hmm. which, in my opinion, I think actually Stipe is the underdog. Just the what DC's done in the past, you know, what I mean, he has a more credible resume than Stipe does. But let's wrap this up. What are you predicting for the fight? I'm gonna go with DC by decision. Uh, I think it's gonna be a very close fight, but when it gets into the deeper rounds, uh, DC's gas tank's gonna come into play, and he's just gonna wear him out. A lot of grinding um you know dirty boxing um and i think stipe or i'm sorry i think dc's gonna get the uh split decision i could see that happening but i'm going with stipe i think he's gonna catch him i think he's as bigger i think he hits harder than anyone stipe's ever fought even harder than anthony johnson and i see i see him catching him round two round three maybe even later in the rounds who knows but go ahead and leave your comments tell us who you think is going to win this fight you know it's him and may anything could happen but we're really curious in what you have to say. Anyways, nice talking to you guys, and we'll talk to you next time. Peace.